Hey everybody, I want to start by showing you the painting from two videos ago. Um, it turned out super cool. And look at, look at the little guy screaming. I love it. And there's another little guy. Um, tons, tons of little eyes in this one. I love it. Love how it turned out. And then this is the little tile I made. And I really like it. Can't wait to resin it. It will be so adorbs. All right, so I am working on a 24 by 24 inch canvas. Um, and I'm going to do a couple of flip cups and then pour the white around it and then um so it's kind of i'm hoping to kind of get lines like this except i'm using um a lot of colors in the same family so it won't be as many different colors and i do have my finished work right next to me so i need to be very careful which is why i decided not to use a hair dryer <laughs> or straws or anything like that. Um, so in this cup, I'm gonna put of Artist Loft Metallic Purple, Prussian Blue, and Artist Loft Aqua Green. And I don't know if I've ever really done a pour quite like this, so um, it'll be new to all of us. Best blue ever. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. right. We'll just let that sit there. And do the next one which this is um, Artist Loft Metallic Blue. And I'm gonna shake this. Well, oh, hopefully it's not open because it's gonna get everywhere. Artist Loft Turquoise with some iridescent medium. Check out the video description for my paint mixing videos. Got Artist Loft Thalo Green. Oops. And then I've got Artist Loft Deep Yellow. I don't think I need more Thalo Green. I do like the metallic. I mean, they do like turquoise. And I am going to add in some Prussian blue to that one. All right. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. <laughs> So is that. They're both beautiful. Maybe. Huh. Maybe I want to change my mind about what I'm doing. These are really nice.
to want to combine these. Where's my mind to torch? Where is my torch? If I was doing a small canvas, I probably would have left these more as is. Instead, I'm going to be muting them. again. Oops. So it's Dutch Boy paint, Floetrol and water. Um, this is the Dutch Boy paint. This is actually uh, black. Um, gee, <laughs> good guess, huh? But this is the exact thing I use, except right here it says um, ultra white. I'm sitting here like, what was I doing? I shook up the white paint and forgot to do anything with it. This may be too, okay. I'm not gonna do it that way. There's too much room for error. So let me take the lid. Oh my gosh. These things are so hard to get lids off. <laughs> Adding more weight to that. See it then pouring out of the big container. Mm. Okay, now I get my paint spreader. Voila. Best paint spreader there is. So I want to take a moment and thank you all for so many responses to my video two videos ago. Um, wow, there's so many of us that are going through stuff. Um, so it was it was heartwarming to hear stories. Um, I'm glad if it helped some of you with whatever's going on in your own life. Um, as I said in the video, you know, I, I totally believe in honesty and telling it like it is. I, I don't like a lot of bullshit, so I, can, so I don't get flagged. Um, but, uh, yeah. And, um, some of you are in your 60s and 70s and, you know, have been had it your whole lives. And I guess to, to those of you, I say you are my heroes because um, 40, you know, 40, 50 years ago, I mean, it's still taboo, but back then it was really taboo and we didn't have half the medications we have now. 
So you guys and gals really rock. Um, and I'm not new to this. This is something I've been living with for 30 years. So yeah, but there's a whole lot of us. I told my husband, I said, I think you may be the only sane person left on earth. Um, because he is the most well-adjusted person I've ever met. It's unnatural, I tell you. Unnatural. Look at these colors. And since I have been, like, I've been busy doing this white, so I have not been looking at this, but it has been doing some way cool stuff in my absence. I am having a tough, tough time spreading this. I think I'm gonna have to. Well, I do need to tilt some. I just don't really wanna lose. Let's see how this tilts, if it stops at the edge or if it continues. It may have trouble breaking through. And it is, I can see it is. And for my fellow members of the tribe, um, happy Pesach this coming week. Passover. And it's kind of cool because at the end of Passover Seder, as you say, next year in Jerusalem, and this year I was in Jerusalem. So it's like, oh my gosh. So that's really really pretty cool. Ooh, I like, that wasn't on purpose, but I like some edges. Jeez. Mm. So how deep is this? Oh yeah, there's a ton of paint on there. I'm going to have to tilt. Trying to go back and forth to keep it somewhat centered. And it is starting to look icky right here. I can, I, I am seeing that just like you guys probably are. I'm gonna let it go off. Okay, and then I'm gonna wait a minute. Normally I let it go off and I immediately tilt it back the other direction, but I'm liking the the look of this so I don't want to do anything super sudden. <laughs>
have to just run my cup through it again. Because that's all happening. Alright, so I am. love the soft look that I get by doing this. It's one of my favorite looks. I mean, it's just so pretty. Got a lot of bald spots now. And this is even a good time to add in another color. Um, if I wanted uh, more yellow or something, this would be a good time to add it. I may get rid of all of that. I don't think I like the way it looks going off the canvas. So I may, I may change all that up. Right now I'm trying to find all the bald spots in here. Because I still should have way too much paint in here because I, because I haven't tilted any off. I just rearranged it. Gosh, I love these colors. Now I got this going over too, so I will see how it all looks in the end. Ugh, I forget how working on the floor makes my back. And to think I used to only exclusively work on the floor. Add in a little purple actually. Um, yeah, I might add in a little. Was a lot. I'm working with my left hand and obviously I can't. <laughs> that was not really what I wanted to do. So I'm going to switch hands.
needs to come back this way. So it got real dragged out. You can see everything is going that way. So this is just bringing it back. I know a lot of this is a pretty slow process. Gotta have patience. Yeah, there's still so much paint, though, because I haven't actually tilted any off. <sighs> like, way thick. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what to do. Yeah, you can see how deep that goes. I've made it so pretty. I think I can absorb that new stuff that I did and tilt it off a little while still keeping the rest of it. But I kind of actually like the new stuff better. <laughs> I really love that soft look. See, now I'm so torn. I really like this look. I know some of you are saying you totally killed it. You should have left it 20 minutes ago. And I do agree. And I would have, before I did this, I would have left it, except that it was so thick. Um, and it still would have dried okay. It just would have had texture to it. Uh, not really cracks, per se. Um but there would have been, it wouldn't have dried as smooth, which really isn't that big a deal. So maybe I should have left it, but it's kind of a little late for that now. And now I'm really liking that. And then I'm thinking, what if I were to add This is going to be a long video. I was going to say I apologize, but why do I apologize? <laughs> you can change 
this channel anytime you want. Or whatever, video. Pink has a new YouTube video. You could go listen to that while watching this. Have that playing on the background, then you don't hear me, and you get to hear Pink's new song because there's no real video. It's just lyrics. So, so many options for you to enjoy. All right, so this is Pearl X Powders. Unfortunately, there's... It won't do a whole lot. Um, it does more if you put it in resin. Um, this may not even really show up terribly much. Well, I'm going to be kind of stirring it in anyway, so. why I can really, I'm going to have to really tilt to because you can see all of the canvas holes I'm making. I like doing <laughs> this way. I love this is the prettiest way to watch the paint in my opinion. I've now torched it enough times that I barely got any of those cells in here um, which you get from the white. What did I said I've torched it three or four times now. Oh, there's a chunk of mica powder. Okay. Use the bottom of it for that part. Yeah, and the powders may, I'm seeing them a little bit here and there, they may sink down and I may not see them. So far cry from what it looked like in the beginning. Maybe those mica powders will. There is still so much paint. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do a big tilt. Big tilt. I just love these colors. And if you don't find it soothing watching the colors move, then I just don't know what to say. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't move. I'm still not altogether sure about this.
way off topic, but it's on my mind. Have any of you ever taught yourself to knit by watching YouTube videos? <laughs> I really want to learn how to knit. But I don't actually want anyone to teach me. The more I'm working this, I'm having more and more issues with canvas is covered here or not, but it appears to be. that's been up there. Lid on this so that I can get all the edges. So I will need to smooth out this white up here, but I think, I think I'm done. There were so many stages where I coulda, shoulda, woulda stopped, um, but I had too much paint. I like that area. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.